Hello everyone, in this video I'll be explaining exercise 11 on page 218 and it's about the weight of the baby Maureen. Um, here you can see the uh, weight uh, per month and um, question A asks what is Maureen's birth weight? Um, well, the birth weight is um, the weight when someone uh, is born. So of course here in this graph that will be um, at the moment t is zero. So the y-intercept um, uh, gives information about the birth weight, which in this case is 3000. So you can just fill that in. All right, well question B asks, uh, how many grams does Maureen gain per month? Well, this is a change per month. Um, so we need to calculate the vertical change divided by the horizontal change. Okay, uh, for this to calculate properly, you need two nice points. Um, well, we have one over here and another nice point is over here at four and four and a half thousand. So we have two points now and we can calculate the vertical change here, which is from 3000 to uh, 4500 um, is 1500. And then the horizontal change here is from zero to five. So the change is five. And then you can calculate the gain per month, which is uh, in this case, um, 300 grams per month. All right, then we have question C. Generate a formula for Maureen's birth weight. Um, and take W in grams and the time T in months. All right, well, uh, we know that this is a straight line. So the formula would look like this. We have W equals A times T plus B, where B is the y-intercept and A is the change per month. Well, luckily we already found that out in the first two questions. So we can actually just fill those in. So A is the change, which is 300, and B is the y-intercept, which is 3000. And this gives us a nice formula with W equals 300 times T plus 3000. Okay. Then another baby comes, uh, Michael, and he was born at the same day as Maureen, um, and his weight can be calculated with the following formula. W equals 250 T uh, plus 2,200. Okay, well the question says, um, who was the heaviest after eight and a half months? Well, um, to know that, we need to uh, fill in eight and a half uh, is T in both formulas. Well, let's do that. Um, we have 250 times eight and a half plus 3,200. Let me check that, uh, which gives us um, 5,325. Then we need to fill in the same T uh, in the formula for Maureen. Because this is Michael, now we have Maureen. So this is one, this is two. All right, it's 300 times eight and a half plus 3,000. Uh, this equals to 5,550. All right, so we can see that Maureen is um, heavier after uh, eight and a half months. And um, the difference here um, is actually, um, let's see, uh, I think, uh, 
uh, let's see, <laughs> 35 and then 150 um, is 225 grams. All right, so that's the first few questions. I'll now erase these because I don't have any room left. We go to exercise E. In this exercise, um, it's, uh, they ask, after how many months do Maureen and Michael weigh the same? So in this case, both formulas uh, uh, should be equal. Well, we have both, I will write them down again. Um, so, when are the weights the same? Well, then these would be equal to each other. So, we need to calculate the following. So, 250T plus uh, 3200 is equal to uh, 300T plus 3000. Okay, so we... Um, move the t's and the numbers to each side. Um, so let's put t in this uh, area and the numbers here, which gives us uh, 3200 minus 3000 is 200, and um, 300t minus 250t gives us 50t, and t equals four. Which means that after four months, um, both babies weigh the same. All right, then the last question, and the most difficult one, um, when, after how many months, is Moraine 400 grams heavier than Michael? Um, in this question, you need, to, uh, you need to be aware of the fact that the difference between the two weights is 400 grams. So, if we have the weight of Moraine and we subtract the weight of Michael, that should be equal to 400. Let's write it down. So we start with the weight of Mare, which is 300T plus 3000. And then we subtract this formula, which is 250T um, plus 3200. Um, beware that you have to put brackets uh, on this one because you have to subtract the whole formula uh, and this equals 400. All right so first get rid of the brackets so we copy this then we have minus 250t and minus 3200 equals 400 then we simplify this side so we have 300t minus 250t is 50t and 3000 minus uh, 3200 is minus 200 and this equals 400. Well then we move minus 100 to the other side which gives us 50t is 600 and then we divide by 50 both sides which gives us 12. So after 12 months uh, Marain weighs 400 grams more than Michael. I hope uh, you understand everything and see you next time.